With that being said, a few major changes are being made to the Pegasi Oppressor MK2 and Sparrow helicopter. These modifications are an attempt to level the PvP playing field. The online community has been fed up with the Pegasi Oppressor MK2 for quite some time now. Suffice to say, this vehicle is unanimously hated by most players. Griefers plague every server and ride atop this overpowered and weaponized flying motorcycle. However, the Criminal Enterprises DLC promises a number of changes for the Oppressor MK2. This is aimed towards making it less lethal and more balanced in battle. The first nerf hits the homing missiles that the flying motorcycle can be equipped with. Currently, these are some of the most effective projectiles in the game. The next nerf is aimed towards countermeasures and their cooldown. To outrun and render missiles fired by others useless, Oppressor MK2 users can spam chaffs and flares. However, the update promises an increased cooldown between activations. The Sparrow helicopter was released along with the Cayo Perico DLC. Its performance and utility instantly shot it to greatness. Being one of the fastest helicopters in the game and having the ability to defend itself through homing missiles made it number one. The minimalistic design does make the Sparrow fast but also diminishes its defense. One glaring shortcoming is its inability to use countermeasures like chaffs and flares. Outmaneuvering homing missiles fired from the close medium range is near impossible for most players. The Criminal Enterprises DLC, however, will make that necessary change, and come July 26, the already effective helicopter will be able to avoid a few missiles. Players can purchase and equip countermeasures while modifying the Sparrow within the Kasatka submarine. The upcoming DLC has been designed while keeping player feedback in mind. Rockstar Games finally listening to its community couldn't have come in a bigger and better way.